Well, last stay here at Uprising Resort. Still a little empty, and that's okay. I leave tomorrow morning at 3.30 a.m. I get picked up from the resort slash hostel. Can't really say it was a memorable experience in Fiji, but the shark dive was pretty sweet. The tubing was fun. And I learned a lot scuba diving the other day. Uh, just a lot of crazy stuff happened on the first dive, and then the second dive wasn't too terrible. And then I, both dives I had problems going down. The second dive I was fine, but then we came up and then went to go back down and I had issues. So I don't know what the hell's wrong with my ears and pressurizing, because I didn't have the issue before. Fiji. Don't need a lot of time, probably three, four days max. Wouldn't do more than that, unless you're gonna go travel to the other islands, in my opinion. Well, time to pack up and head on home back to New Zealand. Small airports, early morning are the worst. <laughs> Burger King was like 34 Fiji for nine piece chicken nugget meal and chicken fries. That's like $15, which isn't too bad. I think it's around the same price as the US, so my flight is boarding soon. Early is important because they made me carry my laptop. So now I have to shove it back in, which means I have to take everything out of my bag. So it's a good thing I landed early or got an earlier flight so I have more time. Starting at 3 a.m. PG time and it is 2.20 p.m. New Zealand time. My journey's almost done. And I'm just gonna relax because I am exhausted. <laughs> so I could have, I could have just kept taking the bus, but I don't know. I'm like 21 minutes away by walking. It's a beautiful day, and. All I've had is nothing but rain, so I was like, fuck, might as well just walk the rest of it. And I got time to kill, I'm not in a rush. So yeah. Oh, feels good to get up and walk, Jesus. And I have finally made it to my destination. Tandem Smash Repairs at 3 p.m. <laughs> the journey's done. Oh. Where's the building? There it is, that white one. Alright, time to go get the van, everyone. Wish me luck. Yeah, so they were able to fix my phone. Uh, it was like $60 plus another $70 for the new back. Uh, because my old back was all cracked up, so I think moisture kept getting through the back. 
So, and it now charges, so I can use a cable to upload stuff onto my phone again. Thank God. I'm just gonna chillax for a bit. Eat. Get back to my car and get my laptop later.